Oh, PE. We're in the middle of an obesity epidemic. Do you know that? PE. Not a lot of young people exercising. Do you exercise? What's your exercise of choice? Football. Do you play for a team? Just five asides. Just the kind of guy you just go. I'm, I play five asides, so I'm the kind of guy I just go for the shower. Everybody plays five aside with somebody, they don't just stay in goal the whole game, and then as soon as the game finishes, they start whipping people in the arse with a towel. <laughs> <laughs> now we're in the middle of an obesity epidemic. I don't know if I've got any fat people in the room. Have we got any fat people in? <laughs> I'm a little bit a little bit rotund myself. I don't mean I'm fat, I'm give, my, give myself chubby. I'm not I'm not documentary fat. No. <laughs> I'm never going to turn on Channel 4 on a Tuesday night and see a guy like me tonight. We meet the 14 stone man. <laughs> that looks disgusting. <laughs> Anybody watch that 14 stone man last night? Shocking. Showed you this guy. He couldn't even do 20 minutes on the treadmill. It, was... and it showed you the guy having his dinner. He had a gammon steak and oven chips. And then, <laughs> and then he had five Jaffa cakes. <laughs> and a penguin. 14 stone. So on again next week, the guy's shocking. Because <laughs> people have got flawed perceptions of their size, and it works in a few different ways. I'll use women as an example here. You know, you get girls who are skinny, they think they're a bit chubby. Girls who are chubby think they're fat. Fat girls think they're obese, and then obese girls think they're supermodels. <laughs> They're the happy people. They're the ones hanging out of limousines on a Friday night. <laughs> going, ah! <laughs> the driver's going, can you lean in, please? You're going to fucking tip this thing. <laughs> They're the first ones on the karaoke. They're the happy people. I tried exercising. I took up swimming. I tried to go swimming. I went to my local. Thank you. I went to my local. <laughs> a local pool. Don't know if anybody here's ever been to the local public pool. You don't need a member in your local public pool. Anybody can go. And they mean that. They mean anybody can go. <laughs> anything, anybody, anything can go. Anybody can go. I took up swimming. I tried to go my local public pool. And I work. I work at night time, so I need to attend my public pool daytime. Now, in a public swimming pool on, for example, a, a Wednesday afternoon, it attracts a certain clientele. <laughs> and I noticed this one day. I was in the public pool Wednesday afternoon. I had done, done my length. <laughs> Then I stopped, because I was fucked. <laughs> but I made it look cool. Well, that way you put your elbows up on the tiles. <laughs> and I, I was shocked. I looked around my public pool on this Wednesday afternoon and I noticed that in a public swimming pool on a Wednesday afternoon there are three kinds of people. And I'm going to be honest here, three kinds, but a bit of honesty here, three kinds of people in a public pool on a Wednesday afternoon. I've seen toddlers, right? Toddlers. Pedophile! <laughs> and the mentally handicapped. I felt self-conscious. It's pretty obvious. I am not a toddler. <laughs> there comes a point in life you need to start making decisions. <laughs> you need to think fast. You need to start taking your swimming gear down inside a farm foods bag to show you're not a pedo, you're just a bit mental. <laughs> 
30 cutters from in camp out of Farm Foods bag. Because <laughs> everybody that carries a Farm Foods bag has got a screw loose. And that is the. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean mentally handicapped, just a bit mad. Right, that is the universal sign for do not approach me, the farm foods bag. <laughs> I don't mean people with three or four farm foods bags, they've just been shopping in farm foods. <laughs> it's that one single, solitary, slightly faded. <laughs> this is my farm foods bag. <laughs> there are many others like it, but this one is... <laughs> I've seen a guy with an inside-out farm foods bag. <laughs> that is a statement of intent, isn't it? An inside-out farm foods bag. <laughs> That's how I've got an obesity epidemic. Don't have the, the facilities. That's how I've got an obesity epidemic. If you're a bit, if you've got a bit of a waste as well. You know what I mean? You need to shop in shitholes. You now you walk in somewhere trendy, like Top Shop for a pair of jeans. Somewhere trendier than that, maybe. River Island. Walk into River Island and some, you no, know, the sales assistants that work in these places, some indie band freak show, they come <laughs> bouncing across the cell view. <laughs> and they're going, hey man, yeah, woo! <laughs> Telling you to chillax. <laughs> Everybody just chillax, man. Anybody ever told you to chillax? <laughs> You've took the word chill and the word relax and combined them to make, ironically, the most infuriating word there's ever been. <laughs> and they come bouncing over on this guy. They've got that kind of energy and enthusiasm that oozes from people who have now been punched in the face. <laughs> but you require this guy's assistance. You're in Topshop, they sell jeans. You're in Topshop, you need jeans. I have to say, excuse me, mate, can I, can I try on these jeans, please? In a 36 inch waist. <laughs> and his enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? Good to see you again. Hey, 36 inch. <laughs> try a 38. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That's the guy, try the jeans on, and a 38 inch waist, good call, right? <laughs> Shut up. 38 inch waist. <laughs> regardless, uh, 36, 38 inch waist, you see the guy, can I try these jeans on? And a 40 inch waist. <laughs> 38 inch waist, and the guy, his enthusiasm just drains. Right? And he looks at you, appalled. You know that way you would look at somebody if they just took a shite in your kettle? <laughs> Imagine somebody took a shite in your kettle, you'd be furious, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's a social faux pas. <laughs> Could you shite in the kettle? <laughs> I don't come to your house and shite in your kettle. <laughs> You've changed, man. <laughs>